What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pugs and Paperbacks where I recommend queer books and I take you on my writing journey. <laughs> If you're new here, I will have all of my writing content down below. I am currently revising my NaNoWriMo project from 2019 and I have a lot of videos about it because I just recently finished revising my second draft and today I am doing the soundtrack to your work in progress tag. This was created by Brittany and Books. She's one of my favorite people. I really love her writing content and I highly recommend to go and check her out if you haven't. She's a booktuber and an author tuber and just one of my favorite people so definitely go over to her channel after watching this video and I will explain to you what it's all about. So the rules are to share songs off of your book playlist with a snippet of your book or explain the significance behind each song. So I will be giving you five songs and I'll just tell you why they're there and the significance. So if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my writing videos. Let's get started. The first song is Keep Your Stick on the Ice by Seaway. Breaking the Ice is all about my main character, Dave. He's a 16 year old trans boy and he's a hockey player on the varsity team at his high school and something happens preventing him from playing hockey for the rest of the season. And so keep your stick on the ice means a lot of things, honestly, because he is a hockey player, but also there is a lot going on in the book where Gabe feels very isolated because he's not with his team anymore and he is just trying to figure out how to live his life without hockey, which is something that has been a constant in his life and is just stripped away from him. And so I wanted to have some hockey themed songs, but I'm also a pop punk fan. So the majority of this playlist is pop punk, Aside from a couple One Direction songs, but that is the significance of that song and it's a good one. Next is Fine Great by Modern Baseball. Such a classic song. If you ask me what Gabe's theme song is, it is 100% this song. If this book is ever made into a movie, I want this song to be on the soundtrack or I just want a scene of Gabe in his room and this song playing or maybe he's listening to it because it is so him. I really like the lyric, I hate thinking about the future and it really reminds me of Gabe and the circumstances he's dealt with in the book because his junior year was supposed to be the best year where scouts are looking looking for you and he's just ready to play hockey. So when that is all stripped away from him, he doesn't want to think about not playing hockey and having a different future. And the next lyric is, cause all of my current problems are based around the past. A lot of his problems are based around the past. The reason that he can't play hockey is because of something that recently happened. But we also have the element where he is forced to do a school project with a girl he was friends with in childhood and is not anymore. So it is the childhood friends to enemies to lovers. And so he doesn't want to think about that at all. A lot of his current problems are based around the past because now he has to do a school project and he is like, oh my god, now I have to think about why I'm mad at this person and so I think this is the theme song to Gabe's life. The next song is No Good by Knuckle Puck and I just had to keep putting in the hockey names in the playlist. It just works. I can't not do that. <laughs> So like every good book you have to have some conflict and in my break into three or just around the end of act two we have a very big fight between Gabe and his best friend Dustin and it is a game changer for the book basically um, because there is just instances of them not talking to each other and so it's definitely something that I think anybody could relate to. 
just in high school or in general if you have a fight with a friend and you're just kind of like what the fuck like why, why are you not talking to me dustin is a very interesting character and i love his character a lot so this song relates to that fight scene and big conflict that we have but also relates to gabe's life because he is dealing with his dad leaving and just having a new family and there are so many instances where he's just kind of hopeful that maybe his dad will come around and his dad like doesn't do it but then his dad just tries to buy his love and so i think that this song also really relates to that aspect of his life <laughs> me talking like he's a real person <laughs> honestly I wish it was. He's pretty cool. So those were the three songs that I wanted to talk about. So now I'm just going to hit shuffle and we'll see what song we land on and I'll let you know what it's about. So we have a lot of songs about divorce. <laughs> so like I already said, I do have a divorce element in this book. So this song could relate to that, but it could also relate to some of the fights that he has um, because there are just some instances where he just, his temper <laughs> just might go a little too far. So from the song Sleep by Citizen, I really like the lyric. I'm getting sick and tired of the smile that I fake every day. Now I love to speak my mind, but I can't think straight. And I would love to feel alive again, but I'm not used to change. Now, everything I've told you about this book is basically in that lyric. <laughs> so like I already said, there's a big change in Gabe's life. So the fact that he just kind of has to put on a smile, well, he chooses to do that and not actually tell everybody how he's feeling about not playing hockey anymore and just kind of having to see everybody else play it without him. But I think that the sleep aspect could also be anxiety. Um, just him having a lot of anxiety about the future and just having anxiety in general. So that is going to be the last song. So that was the soundtrack to your work in progress tag. Don't forget to go and watch Brittany's video and go and subscribe and send her some love. She has a great channel, highly recommend. I'm going to tag Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile and that Liz Hunter. I would love to see what they both have on their book playlist. List. And if you're a writer, let me know in the comments if you have a book playlist that you listen to while you're writing. I do listen to my playlist when I write, but it really depends what music mood I'm in. But usually I'm listening to that playlist. If you would like to watch more of my writing content and get to know the project that is Breaking the Ice, I will have my history of my work in progress tag at the end of this video. And I will have the links down below in my description so you can just watch all of my writing content. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.